welcome to Yee. You can name it. Yeehaw. All right. So this episode is all about trips. But first, this guy has a question. Since it's raining outside, what is it's your... It's not really raining, but it is raining. Ah. Soon to be. Um, what's your favorite type of rain? I like the rain that falls from the sky, feeds the plants, and then we use the plants to feed the poor people that can't afford food, and then we end world hunger. I like heavy rain. That's it? <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Things. So moving on. That was not good. Mm -hmm. Um, moving on. Trips. This kid went on a trip. I gotta go on a trip. Uh, let's go with this kid's trip first. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I went to camp. He went to a camp. The exact same time he was gone. Yeah. It was five days. He was five days. I was seven. seven. Well, it felt like eight. It felt like 12 for me. Yeah. It was so long. Anyway. We got five hours of sleep each night. I got seven. Anyway, Lucky. the best part of camp, the funniest part of camp. Best part. And the worst part about camp. In that order. Best part. Best part. I made... Tons of new friends. Made new friends. That's a good part. Yeah. Um, funniest part. What happened? Funny story. Now, go. So, everyone was fighting each other. Please stop. <laughs> everyone was fighting each everyone other? Everyone was screaming at each other. Like while fist playing, fight? No, screaming. Oh, fuck. They were, yeah, while playing hide and seek. Get out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft. Pretty much. Okay. And... Then I fell over and scratched my knee, and it was hilarious. From people yelling at you? Because I was running around, because someone was chasing me. Oh, you were playing like tag? Yeah. Gotcha. But we also hide and seek. Gotcha. Saddest part? Saddest part. No, worst part, not saddest. Leaving. Leaving? All right. Except I'm glad and sad I left. Oh. That made no sense. There's one friend I don't have their phone number. Darn. Well, yeah, I'm never gonna see them again. Yeah. Oh well. I did that once at zoo camp. I made really. I was <laughs> what not, is zoo I, camp? <laughs> zoo camp. Yeah, I got really good friends with this guy at zoo camp once, and um. <laughs> what the heck is zoo camp? You don't. You've ne you never went to zoo camp, bro. Zoo camp was lit. Zoo what? camp was the stuff. What was that? It was the bomb diggity. You went, no, <laughs> zoo camp. You went to the zoo, and you helped the zookeepers oh, for the day. I might. I got it, a feed of so rhinoceros. Is it still around? It's what so around? The camp. Um, you you've aged out. You've got to be like under nine, I think. It was lit though. A disappointment. Yeah. Um. Anyways, so moving on to your trip. To my trip, I got to go to Jamaica for seven days. Uh, didn't know anybody there um, at all. There were three different groups from all over the country that went. I didn't know any of them. Uh, me and my dad went pretty much solo. Um, ended up uh, making some really good friends. It was really awesome. Um, really, really good trip. Enjoyed it. Got to do some mission work. Uh, Helped some people out. Um, you know, building houses, uh, farming for pineapples. Um, going to nursing homes, um, getting to love people, you know, um, it was, it was a really good trip. Um, so basically I'm going to ask myself to say, best, okay, best part, guess. funniest part, and saddest part. So best part. Really? Um, <laughs> somebody doesn't know how to silence their cell phone. Um, best part of the trip, but for sure was, um, Whoa, little, I just was crying. Okay. Anyways. Best part of the trip was definitely um, the like head CEO person of the company came in. Or I shouldn't say company. Like the head of the ministry came in. Um, she was really nice. She sat everybody down. Uh, we got this beautiful view of the ocean and the beach um, where she set us down at. And she just poured her heart out and uh, why she's doing the stuff that she does and all that. It was really cool. Hmm. Um, yeah. Funniest part. Funniest part, um, I almost smacked a girl, and I almost smacked Why? a guy. Why? Um, this girl, man, she was like 11, and 
Golly, she was the most annoying 11 year old in the world. So me, but I'm just. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Worse than me? I thought she was six. Worse than me? Oh, it was so. She changed her voice to sound like a baby. What? Oh. She would go, hello. Hello. It was so. Oh. That's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> it was bad. I almost smacked the kid. Um, what about the guy? The guy, dude. Oh, my gosh. He would wake up at 4.30 every morning. Luckily, he wasn't in my room, but he was in my dad's room. So he woke my dad up, not me. Um, you don't want to wake my dad up. I was the one who woke up like 30 minutes before the entire building. Opened. Yeah, no, I was like last to wake up every morning. Um, anyway, dude, this guy I know talked about this stupid yoga class. Yoga. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> He's a 46-year-old man who does yoga. <laughs> he doesn't look like he does yoga either. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> what did the manager do? Yeah. Oh boy. Um, crap. Okay, yeah. So, um, stop. Yeah, he kept telling us about his stupid yoga class. He told the story about how he quit drinking and then AA let him into yoga. That's exactly how he did it. AA let him into yoga. And now he does yoga like five times a week, and he's just ripped because of yoga, bro. Yoga <laughs> has just transformed his life, dude. Is that how he You started? just don't even understand. Is that how he started? I do yoga five times a week. Away. I'm cut. I'm ripped, bro. Oh, it was so bad. Oh, I almost <laughs> went. I hit that guy. You hit him? Not on purpose, but <laughs> I, I didn't refrain from it. Um, long story. Anyway. The funny part about this dude, uh, he had a dream the first night, and in the dream, two people were chasing him, and so he threw a kick, and when he threw the kick, he actually kicked the bed frame, <laughs> and broke two toes. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then screamed in the middle of the night, and woke my room up, and his entire bedroom. Go away, Robert. Okay, what? That was actually the dude's. One of the guys' names. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Not the dude I'm talking about, but um, one of the dudes. What What else? Um, saddest. Reading? <sighs> the saddest part was um, I had made all of these new friends. Can you silence your phone, please? <laughs> I had made all of these new you friends. Do you guys have phone numbers? Yes, I got the phone okay, numbers. Good. Golly. God. But I had made all of these new friends, been with them all week. We didn't have our phones. It was just us. We worked together. We played together. We... Some of us slept together, um, <laughs> not like that, um, in separate beds with all of our clothes on. Anyway, oh my um, god, <laughs> it was weird. It was the weirdest guy's bunk room I've ever been in. You haven't been to camp. All right. Anyway, <laughs> our ceiling is falling. <laughs> the sky is falling. Um, so anyway, I made all these new friends. Been with them all week. Um, started to really love them, and then. Um, you know, we just, like, had to leave. Um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was kind of traumatizing. Like, these people became my family in a week. And I, there's a chance I'll never see them again. Um, wow, made it, way to make the podcast sad. You asked me the saddest part. <laughs> Mine wasn't that sad. Bro, just do some yoga, <laughs> dude. Just do some yoga, you'll be all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the first night he brought his yoga mat out. I could hear him talking about his stretches. Okay. The walls in the hotel were paper thin. We could hear everything that they were saying. Silence, Silence your, your phone! phone. <laughs> Godly. Alright, that's pretty much it. That'll do it. Week. Goodbye. So much better than last week. Alright, see you next week. Yeehaw.